Hi right, folks, welcome back. At this time, I'm going to be playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 in the arcade mode. Ah, uh, good old April O'Neil TV cartoon goodness. And as you can see here, the Shredder has stolen the Statue of Liberty. And we, uh, okay, more accurately, me, playing as Leonardo, have to be a bad enough dude to go rescue. Let's do this. Now a uh, neat little trick is that throwing bad guys gets you more points. And it really adds up a lot. Really adds up a lot. Dodge the wrecking ball, because it hurts a lot. If I remember right, the, the only way to beat the Shredder the first time is to throw bad guys at him. Like that. That's the only thing in the whole game that hurts him. If I remember correctly, that pizza is going to be what gives us our power back. Like that. And pizza gives us points, and every 200 points, we get an extra life. Nothing about continues, though. Hey, did I mention that I'm playing this on hard? Because I might need those lives. But anyway, I've beaten this game plenty of times on hard, so I'm not all that bothered. And if I also remember correctly, the ending is a lot more satisfying if you win a heart. Shut up, Krang. There we go. Now, I might have already said this before, but all these different ninja robot things, uh, them being called the foot soldiers, they all have different weapons. Now those blue guys I've been fighting have size, those gray guys have nunchucks, the purple guys just like punching me, and I think they're orange guys with, not, with throwing knives. But I'm not all that worried, and there's the boss, a giant mutant fly man called Baxter Stockman. But I'm not all that worried about him either, because I just jump kick him. Jump, kick him. Keep doing that over and over because of how much he spends the whole fight flying. And now, he's got a bigger gun that, that does more damage. Still no big problem. He's, he's the first boss. Yeah, I, I make this look easy. And the more he's glowing, that, that means that he's closer to being beaten, and he is finished. Yeah, I'd say Kabloom is accurate. Hey, what are you doing down here? I did not think you would be down here. Well, suit yourself then. And right now, we are going through the streets of New York City in broad daylight. Why? It's an 80s cartoon. Who's really all that concerned? Now, if I remember right, uh, the guys over at 4Kids, uh, they did a crossover between these Ninja Turtles and their Ninja Turtles, where these guys running around in broad daylight was actually a pretty big deal. Funny, but it was kind of sad when you really think about it. And you missed, manhole guy. I'm gonna throw you for extra lives, or at least extra points. Pizza yes, pizza time. Always pizza time. Watch out for the robots, because they can shoot you with the laser web. And it hurts a lot. Absolutely lots. Yeah, I'm very good at throwing these guys, aren't I? Extra life. 
Now the thing about fighting these evil ninja robots is that you're not supposed to go gentle on them. Oh, I could have swore he would have lasted longer. Then I could have body slammed one of those robots. But, still not concerned. Spinny thing! And I broke the fire hydrant. I think it might have hit somebody with it too. Watch, watch. Manhole guy missed. Again. Because I was going to throw it back at him. But these things have a funny way of working themselves out, you know? Yes. Body slam. Was that some kind of judo throw? out of my way or I will do that to you and then you will explode because you're a robot and no one loves you that thing is a robot turtle if I remember right the more you beat him up every once in a while uh, his attacks uh, that they slow down a little but even then he's still dangerous so you got to be careful and now I, I think when he gives off smoke uh, that's when his robot parts start sticking. Oh, hold on, I got him a little bit more before he starts doing that, I think. Nope, a little more. Gotta jump over that. Still not all that hard. Hold on, I'm gonna show you the stick as soon as it happens. Okay, maybe it's not happening all hard. But I remember seeing it a lot. But it's okay, because he's done. I don't want to worry about it anymore, because I'm not all that concerned. Cowabunga. What are you so happy about? Cowabunga. Okay. Now, in light of that, it's bonus level time. If I remember right, these bad guys in this one level are so weak they only take one hit. It's kind of like Batman versus the Green Lantern. No, really. They, they, they did fight in a comic book. And guess who won? Batman. Well, the Green Lantern has a magic ring that gives him superpowers. Batman just punched him. Pizza. You know, those gates coming up and down, they can hurt you, but I don't think I've ever had that happen to me for a long time, let me tell you. No! My pizza! Ah, let it go. And these things, I forget what they're called, but I just call them pizza aliens, because it looked like the monster from that movie, Aliens. See that? Alien head. And you know, I'm also really, really glad they don't have alien, I mean, pizza, uh, cheese, face hugger things. And I got pizza back in time for the boss. Because we're about to fight the Rat King. Yep, the Rat King. Probably the lamest Ninja Turtles bad guy. Now I'm going to send him back to the sewers. See that? I make him look like a chump. Well, it had to happen sooner or later, him hitting me with, with those torpedoes. Because he's a torpedo dunce. And I blew up his hovercraft. Or at least I think that's a hovercraft. Still not all that tough, and I'm still not all that impressed. <laughs> Up next, Technodrome time, the final shell shock. In this level, it has two boss fights, but it's not the end of the game because we haven't gone through time yet. Well, come on. 
Any minute now. Oh, thank goodness. I thought the game froze. Because that would have been embarrassing. And the only thing more embarrassing than that happening is my friend Sean making fun of me because he thinks he goes... Oh, hold on. Let me rephrase that. Because he thinks I go on and on and on about Chuck Norris. Hear that? I'm mad at you. And them things, they're called the Mousers. What you gotta do is, you gotta avoid them when they jump up because they'll bite your hand and just stand there shaking them off like an idiot. Now, I don't know who's worse. These guys or the robots with the laser whips. At least I think they're laser whips. Either that or they're some kind of electric lasso. Like the dog. No, wait, no, no, no never mind. Not, not, not like the dog. Extra life. You know, I'm surprised I haven't died yet. But, oh, did that guy just go out of the floor? Hey, they're robots. They can do anything. Except love. Because the guy who built them is evil. And I'm going to go beat him up now. Or at least beat him up once I go find him. And here we are, up to the first boss fight of the Technodrome. Um, if I remember right, they weren't from the cartoon, but rather uh, from that movie b based on it. Or was it based on the comic? Ah, whatever. Either way, these guys are Toka and Razar. I I'm pronouncing that right, ain't I? If I remember right, that guy... Okay, uh, the evil... Mutant turtle thing I'm fighting has ice breath, and the other guy has fire breath. And the easiest way to go about doing this is to have them beat each other up, or at least run into each other every once in a while. And that is what happens when you walk into the fire. Oh, he beat himself up. Did you see that? Well, these guys are stupid. I'm gonna go beat him up until he fades away. <laughs> and as you can also see here, this is the only level in the game to have more than one segment. And you know, there's one other thing about this level that I don't get. <clears throat> it's that if I body slam them on the elevator like that, how come it doesn't break? Because if I keep doing that, you think I'd accidentally break it and fall all the way back down to the bottom. And the Shredder is going to be laughing at me like, Ha ha ha! I have beaten you. But you know what? It's okay. Because I'm going to make him look like a chump. If I remember right, this is a pretty long part. And longer than that other part. Oh, that was a close one. Did you see that? If I didn't do that, I would have probably lost a life. There you are. Nope. And I lost a life. You know, maybe I should learn to keep my mouth shut sometimes. He can go die for all I care. No, I really would like some more pizza. Now these guys, the only way to beat them easy is to throw them. Because they have shields that, that, that block all your attacks. And throwing them is the only way to beat Shredder. And if you thought those were bad or hard, you gotta throw a whole bunch of the shield guys against the Shredder. And, and this guy thinks he's gonna have turtle soup. And if he wants turtle soup, maybe he'll also have a, a little side of pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. Okay. What? Yep. Pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. Little onions swimming in a sea of buttercream sauce. I, I suppose you're wondering why I'm saying that. 
So that the guy who plays Shredder in the cartoon, uh, that was something he said on a different TV show. It was called The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And what was going on was, is it was a, a live action show, and the guy saying that was this uh, fat judge guy who really, really loves food. And, and he really wanted pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. Or, or at least something like that. And he is done. He is done. Or at least for right now, because I gotta fight him again at the very end of the game. And now, we're going through time. Bye bye! You know that's not the end of the video, right? That's a lot of zeros. Woo. But anyway, it's the caveman levels. And I think I have to avoid getting ran over by a raptor like when I did this in time trial. And it's a bit of a shame I can't beat up those pterodactyls. Wait, th those were raptors, right? Because I called them raptors once, and then I said something about raptor Jesus going extinct for people's sins. Come here, you. I'm gonna body slam you. Body slam for fun and profit. Come here, you. Because these guys always seem to be running away from me. Oh, now they got axes. Who do they think they are? Some kind of ninja robot me? Or do they make me look like some kind of freaky super me? Because you know, I used to have a wooden toy axe I got from the Renaissance Fair once. Yeah, it was about five or six years ago, though. Yeah, I went there with my school drama club. And I lost another life again. You know, maybe I should start taking this more seriously. Okay, I, I was not planning on doing that. I did not plan on pushing those two buttons together. But I got my life back, so it's okay. And there's the bomb, guys. Somebody set up, set him up. If I may quote that. Um. Actually, the guys who made this game wanted to be nice and, and give you pizza anyway. Either that or Shredder's trying to make fun of us, saying, Even with all this pizza, you won't win. Soon I shall dine on turtle soup with pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. Okay, that's not funny anymore. But somehow some idiot just jumped right into a sword. You saw that, right? Body slam. And now these guys, I do not like these guys. They're very tough. And the only thing rockier than them is Rocky Balboa. It's like, yo, Adrian, I'm gonna go beat up this rock guy. Now this is gonna look pretty cool. This guy, he blocks everything, and the only way to hit him is to hit him while he's jumping around, because that's the only time he's really open. And if he's not open, you gotta trick him into jumping. 
that's the only real way you're gonna beat him. You seeing this? You seeing this? How he's jumping around? And, and that hit me. Okay, that. That did not look good. That did not look good. And I think now he's a lot more aggressive and he's all angry. Either that, or what I gotta do now is, I think I gotta get behind him. Okay, he, he jumped, he, he's finished, he, he's done. Totally kaput. No, I still think that the, the shredder was harder. Now usually that guy that I just got done fighting, he gives me a lot of trouble. And now, I think I'm going to the pirate ship days. See? Pirate ship. Skull and crossbones. And I'll show you Skull and Crossbones. It's going to be yours. After I'm done beating you with them. Hey, do you ever wonder what it's like to try beating a guy with his own skull? Or would he already be dead by then? Because I've, because I've heard of somebody, okay, I do not know where those guys got bows, or arrows that are on fire. Uh, they're robots, they, they can't breathe. I don't think they can even talk. And remember, they can't feel love. Now watch out for the bandaged planks, or else they'll go up on you and it'll really hurt. Yeah, I know I got to fight, April. Stop nagging me. You're worse than my mama. Uh, April O'Neil, uh, she was from the Ninja Turtles cartoon, and uh, she was a news reporter lady. A lot of the kids liked her. Well, you never saw the cartoon. Or at least nothing made before that... Uh, big crossover between the 2003 turtles made by four kids and, and these turtles yeah that's what I'm talking about wicked ain't that for grown-ups okay wait it ain't wicked based on the Wizard of Oz yeah, that thing's for grown-ups. Trust me. Or am I thinking of something else? Trust me, it ends very not so nicely. Why am I talking about Wicked? This is a Ninja Turtles game. Thanks a lot, Bill. Come on, I needs the pizza. Cause I've got a need to feed. Like chowder. There we go. Oh, one day, spinny disc man. I shall get you. Gotcha. Revenge. Revenge at last. Well, I'm very good at throwing these guys by, by the looks of it. But now they have Gatling guns. And they're very angry at me. And it's time I go make them cry some more. Before they go make me cry some more. Like the heavy. And now it's boss time. Bebop and Rocksteady. The pirates. Because, well, it's a pirate level. And these guys are really stupid, like in the TV show. Because I think every once in a while, they'll actually try hitting each other. And that is if they're not trying to team up on me. Now watch, they don't want to try fighting me at the same time. I don't know why, but it'd be a lot easier if they did. You think? It's like, I'm going to get you guys. I'm going to beat them up for Master Shredder. And if I remember right, I remember seeing uh, something with uh, 
some guy who sounded a lot like that trying to play Super Bomberman 2. And he kept calling the game Bomberman. Okay, I think now they're trying to fight me at the same time. I, I really ought to just keep my mouth shut. But... They're done. Now watch, they're gonna accidentally beat each other. Those guys are stupid. You know? Only one way to find out where they're going. Only one way to find out where they are going. Tell the train. Yep, we're going to the 1800s on a steamboat. Hey, maybe we'll go find Mark Twain and then beat him up. Or was he 1900s? Oh well. Anyway, be right back because I gotta go change the disc.